Hello students, today we are going to study about multiplying a two digit number by a one digit number. So we are going to focus on multiplying 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, up 90. So we are going to be multiplying these numbers by a one digit number. So in number one, part A, let us find out how many pins are there. We can see that there is only one group of 10 pins. So one group of 10, so that is 1 times 10, which is equal to 10. So there are 10 pens altogether. So this time around, we have got two groups. And one group has got 10 pens. So if we get 10 pens and we add there another group of 10 pens, we will come up with 20 pens all together. But in the similar way as we have seen in the first example, we can say that we have got two groups of 10 that is 2 times 10 and it is equal to 20. So there are 20 pens all together. So for part C, we have got a number of groups and let's count them all together. 1, 2, 3, go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and nine. Now, each group has got 10 pens. So that is 10, 20, 30, 40. I want you to notice that from 10 to 20, we add 10. We add 10 to 20 to get 30. We add 10 to 30 to get 40. So let's continue counting. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. So you see that here we also add 10 and we get 50. We add 10 to get 60. We add 10 to get 70. We add 10 to get 80. And we add 10 to get 90. So you see that we can get nine groups of 10 and that is nine times 10. So again on this part I want you to see that if I get 9 times 1 I will get nine and I simply add a zero in front of nine all in the ones place to come up with 90. So therefore there are 90 pens all together. Let us move on with part two. We need to know how many 
pencils are there. So you can see that this time we have got three groups and each group has got 30 pencils. So we see 30 plus 30, we get 60 plus 30, we get 90. So you see that from 30 to 60, we say plus 30. 60 to 90, we say plus 30. So since we have got three groups of 30, we will get 3 times 30 to come up with 90. But also see that 3 times 3 will give us 9. And then we bring a 0 in front of in front of 9 to come up with 90. Therefore, there are 90 pencils altogether. In part B, we have got two groups. And each group has got 50 pencils. So, 50. From 50, we go to 100. That is 50 plus 50. Say so that 50 plus 50, we get 100. So two groups of 50, that is 2 times 50, which is equal to 100. Like you have seen already, you see that 2 times 5 is equal to 10. Then we bring a 0 in front of 10 to come up with 100. So that is 100 pencils. So in part 3, we need to find the product of 4 and 60. So this means that we have got four groups of 60. That is 60 plus 60 plus 60 plus 60. Then, remember that we can first get 4 times 60. So we get 4 times 6, which is equal to 24. And then we write a zero in the ones place value. So we get four times six, which is equal to 24. And then we write a zero in the ones place value to come up with 240. Part four, let us find the product of five and 90. Like we have seen already, this means 5 groups of 90, which is the same as 5 times 90. So, we need to first know what is 5 times 9. 5 times 9 is 45. So, we just need to write a 0 in the 1's place value, such that we get 400 and 50. Now, from all these examples that we have looked at, we can conclude that when we multiply a number with a zero, for example, 10, 20, 30, up to 90, by a one-digit number, we can simply multiply the number in the tens first and then add a zero to the product at the ones place. Let us see this more in the next example. You can see that if we get two times three, of course that is six. 
So what about 2 times 30? So it means that we get 2 times 3, which is 6, and write a 0 in the 1's place. And we come up with 60. Part B, we need to get 6 times 3, which is equal to 18. Then what about 6 times 30? So, we need to write 18 and we write a 0 in the 1's place value to come up with 180. Next, 7 times 30. So, let us first get 7 times 3, which is equal to 21. And then, we write a 0 in front of 21 to come up with 210. Part D. 4 times 70. Let us first get 4 times 7, which is 28. Then we write a 0 in the 1's place, such that we come up with 280. Now, students, I want you to think about this. If 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 40 will be 80. So what about 2 times 400? What about 2 times 4,000? So from all, the, from all this that we have looked at, I believe you are able to multiply a one-digit number by a two-digit number that has got a zero. For example, 10, 20, 30, up to 90. So in the next lesson, we will see how we can multiply numbers without regrouping. Thank you.